welcome back to a new video on the YouTube channel. This on the Modded One House YouTube channel. This is Cobra. Today we are going to be going over how to put a VPN on your console through an Ethernet. So first you're going to need a, uh, apologies. Give me a second. Okay. So first you're going to need an, need an Ethernet. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I need to go get me some water. My mouth is dry as fuck. Okay. So first you're going to need an Ethernet and any console i would just be using my rga slash jtag as an example and i would also be posting this under the rga slash jtag section due to the fact that this is a tutorial based on how to use your rgh efficiently and effectively so first you're going to go over to your network settings you're going to go over to your adapter options and when you are at your adapter op uh, ap yeah, adapter options it's a bit early in the morning, it's about 7.13 in the morning and I have yet to sleep yet, so apologies if I'm a bit uh, flustered, flustered, yes. So first you're going to have your Ethernet, then you're going to have, if you're using a VPN provider, I would most likely recommend using an OpenVPN uh, client, as it's very easy to just forward. I don't know about other clients, like stuff that comes with like Chlor panels and core panels and stuff like that proton and all that other stuff I'm not too sure about so you're gonna see local area connection one that being open VPN it could be open VP it could be a local area connection 10 it could be anything of the sort but for me it's local area connection one you're going to left click click the properties I don't know if my camera is recording that hold on let me just swap over real quick and get the entire tab. Alright. Uh, you're going to left click. And you're going to open up properties. For your open VPN. You're going to go over to sharing. You're going to click Ethernet. Make sure your Ethernet is not plugged into your console. Yet. Then you're going to connect to the VPN you're using. I'm going to be using a free Chicago server as this one seems to be more efficient for me. You're going to wait for it to connect. Let's see if it's going to connect. It connects. Then you are going to turn on your Xbox. I just turned my Xbox on. We're going to wait for it to turn on. It's not picking it up. But does my capture card just not like my stuff right now? Give me a second. Okay. We are back on the console. It took me a little bit. My capture card just did not like me at the moment. We're going to go over to settings. Network settings. And then as you can see you have the Wi-Fi provider. Mine's Butt Nugget. That is just because I, I completely forgot how to change my Wi-Fi name. And I was just fucking around with the other people in my neighborhood. We're not going to get into context about that unless that's completely necessary. But then we are going to plug in the Ethernet. If I can find it. Okay, yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, hold on, my ethernet is just being a dick right now, so give me a second, and we'll pause and I can get it in. Finally. Oh, fuck. 
And my capture card stopped responding. Give it a second. All right. Once you plug your Ethernet in, you're going to go back over to your computer. Let's, let's close that tab out. You're going to go over to the Ethernet section. You're going to click status. You're going to look at your... I forgot to reset this. Let me just disable them, re-enable it. I use my Ethernet a lot. Alright, once you enable, you're going to see the sent received. Then you're going to go back to your Xbox. And you're going to test your Wi-Fi connection. And boom. If your VPN is good, you'll be able to get past, like, you'll be able to log in and all that stuff. When I say VPN is good, I'm referring to the concept of if your VPN is able to, like, get past the internet section. Don't worry about if you fail on your Xbox Live. That just means you just need to reset. It usually connects you once you reset. So... That is how to put a VPN on your RG8 slash JTAG using the Ethernet method. If you guys need a VPN or need any good recommendations, uh, I can link all of the best resources I have in the description down below. I'm still not verified by YouTube because YouTube is being a cockatoose. So this is Cobra from Modded Warehouse signing off. See you guys in the next video. Also, wait, before I end this video, I also do want to make sure that you guys are aware that I will probably be live streaming in the future when I'm referring to the concept of live streaming. I'm just gonna just turn great uh, I might be live streaming like once every couple weeks of some sort me just fooling around and just basic update because a lot of people are very confused why I, I live stream more than I post which I don't know if I should take it as an insult or just like as a statement. Last live stream I had issues with my DLCs but I fixed that issues now so I'll probably be live streaming again tonight so yeah keep up to date with that so if you guys are interested in any of the other videos subscribe like leave in the comments down below and if you guys want me to continue doing this RGHD attack tutorial bullshit and you guys want to know anything specific about your console or how to do specific things with the console uh, feel free to comment them and I'll read the comments as, to the best of my ability. My gamer tag and everything else will be linked down in the description down below, including my Discord user because Discord, I mean YouTube won't let me verify my account, so I can't like link my Discord server. I'll leave my Discord uh, tag, my Instagram tag, and the Xbox GT I currently sit on. So if you guys want to message me, you want to invite me to parties, chill a little bit, I'm down to do so. Just let me know what's up. So let me redo the in the outro because it's getting a little bit long. So this is your boy, Cobra from Modded Warehouse, signing off. See you guys in the next video.